Hi, everyone. This is John Nargi, Executive Director and Co-Founder of the W Connection, here today to talk about this month's topic. This month's topic is on letting go. I wanted to first say that we all know the W Connection is about rebuilding your life after the death of a partner. And what we realize is that a foundation of that process is letting go. And what we mean by letting go is letting go of that emotional weight that is holding you back. I do want to share that we do not mean forgetting about the past. That life that you shared with your husband was a beautiful life. And those memories come with us. And those memories and that life you shared is what makes you, you. What I wanted to talk about when we talk about letting go is letting go of that emotional weight that is holding you back. And that emotional weight may manifest itself as traumatic memories, or that emotional weight may manifest itself as physical pain. Perhaps your back goes out when you're planning a vacation or your knee hurts when the holidays are approaching. When we use the term letting go, it's not about forgetting. I wanted to say that again, but it's about letting go of that emotional weight. And I wanted to continue by sharing a story. When I was first widowed, all I could think of was those traumatic memories, those times when my husband was in hospice or those times when my husband was in so much pain from the cancer. But at one point, those memories started to shift and I started to remember happy memories, those memories of my husband and I on a hiking trail or those memories of my husband and I walking in Central Park and of course, I immediately called my co-founder of the W Connection, and we talked about that. And I realized that I was starting to let go of those traumatic memories. And once I began to let go of those traumatic memories, I allowed the space for those beautiful memories to come in. And I allowed the space to start rebuilding my life. And my life is different now but still full and still beautiful. And my hope is that you also live a beautiful and full life as well. I do hope to see you in the Zoom room.